Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the short tail cast on method. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. And let's dive on in. So there's many reasons that I like the short tail cast on method. One is that it's super quick and super easy. Two, it's really beginner friendly. It's how I got started when I learned how to knit. And number three, which is probably the biggest advantage is that you don't have to measure out your yarn beforehand which, trust me, when you start to cast on long tail and you don't have enough yarn, it's the most infuriating thing ever. So to get started, you are going to need some yarn. I just have this scrap yarn here from Paintbox in this chunky wool. And you are also going to need a pair of needles, which I've got these size eight millimeter pony needles and the plastic ones, I believe, and they're really easy to knit with. So I'd recommend these for beginners. Okay, so to get started, I'm just putting my needles to one side and we are going to take a look at our yarn. So on the left hand side, I have my tail end, which because the short tail cast on, as the name suggests, means you only have a short tail here. We are creating our cast on edge, cast on row, using the yarn that is attached to the ball only. So what I'm going to do is just create my slip knot nice and quickly and slide my needle through. If you don't know how to do a slip knot, I do have another video on my channel, which I'll put up in the cards for you. So we have our slip knot attached to our needle. And I'm just gonna pull that nice and snug, but it's got enough room that I can easily slide my needle through. Like that. And to cast on, I've got my ball over to the left now. All we need to do is wrap our thumb round the yarn clockwise. And when we do that, we create a loop, which I'm going to show you here. We create a loop and that needle will go through that loop. And what it will look like when you do that yourself and you're looking down at your hand is you'll wrap the yarn around here, insert the needle, pull. And that is the first stitch cast on. And again, just wrap round, put your needle through and pull it tight. Wrap round, needle goes through, pull it tight. I'm just going to do a couple more of those super quickly. And if you find they bunch up, all you've got to do, slide them down. We'll do one more. So we're going to wrap that round clockwise, insert the needle, pull tight. And I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So we've got our short tail over here. And these are our stitches, as you can see here. Spread those out so you can see them all. And that is our edge. And it looks super duper neat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna knit a row so you can see what it looks like once you've done that. And the important thing is just to make sure that your working yarn is on the edge, which is the bit that's attached to the ball. So I'm just going to slide my needle through and knit a stitch. And you have to just make sure you leave enough space so you can get your needles through nice and easy. Which if you struggle like I just did then, all you've got to do is shuffle them down so it's towards the point. Insert that needle there, wrap round. So there you go. So I've just knitted a row, knit a row, knitted a row. And as you can see, it's created this really nice texture right here. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. I'll see you next time.